I'm Dr. Jim Fitzgerald. I, I grew up in Massachusetts. Uh, I attended the University of Notre Dame. I then went to Georgetown University School of Medicine in Washington, D.C. Uh, following that, I did my residency at the, the Leahy Clinic in Burlington, Mass, uh, in urology after two years of general surgery at, at Mass General. I then spent uh, a few years in the military at the United States Naval Hospital in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, because I was fortunate enough to have a, a, a military scholarship to, to medical school. I developed a, an interest in healthcare as a, as a young boy, and this was sustained as, a, as I grew older. Uh, my father was an oral surgeon, and he's always been my, uh, my biggest role model in life. I have a, a great wife and four amazing kids, and I've always enjoyed spending my free time or as much of it as possible with, with my family and watching my kids grow up. We enjoy traveling and, and most of that and is revolved around you know, where our kids are in college or where they're studying abroad or uh, where they've lived after uh, college or during summers and, and that's a lot of fun. I also like doing uh, jobs around the house and uh, working in the yard and doing various home improvement projects. Bladder cancer affects both men and women. Um, it's actually the fourth most common cancer in men. Uh, it's less common in women, but is uh, still a significant uh, problem for women. The number one risk factor for bladder cancer is cigarette smoking, just like it is for lung cancer. And usually uh, a uh, primary care physician will see a patient who either uh, sees visible blood in his or her urine uh, or who is found to have blood on a urine test, microscopic blood, and then they're referred to a urologist. There are many different causes for blood in the urine and bladder cancer is just one of them. The test that we use to diagnose bladder cancer is called a cystoscopy, which is a test that we do in the office. We look into the bladder with a, a small um, telescope uh, using local anesthesia. Once a bladder tumor has been detected, the way it's initially treated is uh, usually an outpatient procedure in an operating room called a, a TURBT, or transurethral resection of bladder tumor. We look into the bladder with a, a scope and actually shave the uh, tumor from the, the bladder wall and, and remove it. Uh, further therapy for bladder cancer is generally based on the pathology. You know, how aggressive is the cancer? Um, and what is the stage, and the stage is usually determined by whether the tumor is invasive into the muscle of the bladder or not. Subsequent treatment can involve anything from just simply surveillance, where we look in there um, into the bladder in the office uh, periodically, to uh, medications that we instill into the bladder uh, in the office, um, and much less commonly, patients will need more aggressive therapy like more aggressive surgery to include removal of the bladder and occasionally uh, radiation uh, and or uh, chemotherapy. By bringing together several smaller groups of urologists, uh, we've been able to offer our patients services that we simply wouldn't be able to offer in uh, smaller uh, two to four doctor uh, practices. Uh, we've been able to provide the best care possible uh, in the most efficient way that we can. 